right, Eric, how about a pitcher that you're liking who checks in at under 8K? Yeah, in contrast to the expensive bracket, I, there's not a lot here. I guess maybe that shouldn't surprise us. If they were interesting, they would cost more than 8000 I think Jake Odorizzi is probably my favorite at 6700 against the Rangers. You could convince me to select most pitchers at 6700 against the Rangers. Rangers haven't looked good all year, and they're 29th in WRC Plus since the break one spot behind the Angels even. Uh, Odorizzi started the year very poorly, 675 ERA in his first six starts, but since then he's been completely fine, 370 ERA. Bit of a low strikeout guy on the year, 20.9% uh, strikeout rate does cap, I think, his ceiling, although he is coming off uh, five shutout innings with eight strikeouts against the Mariners in his last start. And, you know, he's a guy who has had some very successful seasons in the fairly recent past. So even though he's down from that level, I don't think he's down to the level of being a 6,700 guy when the matchup is this good. All right, Matt, who are you going with who checks in at under 8K? I actually like Odorizzi too, but I have some concern that he could be really highly owned on this slate because there are a lot of expensive bats to afford. And like Eric said, there aren't that many great cheap pitching options. Most of the good ones are in the expensive range. So it's really Odorizzi. And then I think another pitcher who could be popular too, but maybe a little bit less so is Logan Gilbert. And this isn't something I normally look at too much, but Gilbert's been bad his last two starts. So I kind of checked out what's been going on with him. And in the two most recent starts, he's throwing his slider much harder than he was before, but it's also not breaking as much. And maybe there's something he's doing there where that's caused the results where he gave up five runs to the Jays and then nine runs to the Astros last time out. So maybe that maybe their pitching uh, coaching staff makes an adjustment with him and he goes back to throwing the slider the way he was. Or maybe this is just a fluke and he faced two good offenses and that's why he had two bad games. But Gilbert for the year has really good numbers in terms of strikeouts and walks. His ERA doesn't really line up with it, but the peripherals are there and he's got a matchup at home against the Royals for 7,700. So really for me, it's, it's a concern that Gilbert could be highly owned along with Odorizzi. And if he's not, I think he's my favorite pitcher on the whole slate ahead of Cole and Nola because of the savings you get with him.